this one's about Carcass, which I don't know if you you have you ever listened to Carcass, Joey? Mm -mm. They're one of those bands. What were you saying, Dren? Carcass, I know well. That's all I said. Yeah, Um, they're. I feel like they're super. They're such an underrated heavy band. They have uh, two records I love: Swan Song and Heartwork. And I mean, their newer stuff is good too, but like they're one of those bands uh, that has been so consistent and s- consistently heavy. And it's like really good guitar stuff. Like I, I the guitar work is really incredible. Is this is like black metal stuff or, um, hold on, let me pull up their Wikipedia. Cause I don't know what I, it's like death. It, it's, it's hard to, so here's the thing about them. They have deathy vocals, but the guitar work is more like classic rock almost. It's, or it's hard oh. to explain. It's like, so let's see. Car- it's just in their Wikipedia. It says they're an extreme metal band, English extreme metal band. So the genre set uh, on Wikipedia says death metal, melodic death metal, grindcore. So it says here. Oh, okay. Here we go. Pi- Carcass are regarded as pioneers of the grindcore and melodic death metal genre. They're also described. I was going to say early- melodic death metal is what I know them for earliest and most important of the new generation of grindcore and death metal bands. Their early work was also tagged as splatter death metal and hard gore on account of their morbid lyrics. When it starts getting to all these fucking genre names, I just don't care. I'm just listening to Tomorrow Belongs to Nobody by Carcass from 1996. And you're right. Like it's the guitar is like really groovy and stuff. And then there's this like extreme vocal kind of thing on top. I love that track, No Love Lost. Uh... No I forget which album it is. And then there's, there's no I think they have another song off that. What's that one where like there's like that face in the sky? Uh, you know what Oh, that's about? Swan Song. Like, yeah, it has like the wings. Swan song, yeah. song, Black Star. Black Star. Yeah. Oh, that, that's the that's album a, I was checking yeah, out. That's here. a good song. Red, that's that's a great cool. one. Rotting in the Free World. Keep on yeah. rotting. Keep on rotting in the Free World. Yeah, yeah. The, that's a good. <laughs> it's like a play yeah, I'm, I'm going to listen to this tomorrow. Yeah, dude. You you might dig them. Uh, that So the album Heartwork, too, their album Heartwork is literally about like a guy, like he's a guy who's like been had his heart broken so many times he like ripped his own heart out. Like that's kind of like the theme of it. Huh. So he's like, I don't have a heart anymore. Like heart work type thing. I mean, it's good shit though. Like, and the guitar work again. So anyway, we'll, we'll let me plow through this real quick. In a recent interview with newborn open air festival, carcass vocalist, bassist, Jeff Walker and guitarist, James Nip Blackford spoke about the band's musical evolution. That's an interesting middle name. Yeah. Hold on. Walker said, as transcribed by Blabbermouth, we did this and then we grew up a bit and then we did that and we grew up a bit and we keep growing up and we keep, it's not a deliberate cynical maneuver. We just play the music we like, but it's not like a cynical maneuver. You get better as a musician. You have different influences and you just try different things. Stylistically, we're all over the place. That's the problem. Blackford, who replaced former Carcass guitarist Tom Draper in 2021, weighed in i would say as a fan of carcass primarily i've been a fan for most of my life and now i get to play with the band i didn't know this Uh, i think that's great thing about the band that each album has been different and it seems from the outside that's where they were in that year in that time and then they evolved a bit and they got like that you kind of see them maturing and growing up and some bands just do the same thing over and over again and that's great it works really well for some bands in fact who would want acdc to do something different Added Jeff, that's also the handicap with Carcass because someone that heard Carcass in 1988 would think that's shit and they wouldn't understand what we sound like now. And maybe if they heard us in 1990, they didn't like what we were playing then, but we've moved on and we get that. I understand that. We've been right, written off so many times. That's Carcass. They sound noisy. They sound shit, but we're all right, I think. Fuck yeah, you guys are. Carcass's latest album, Torn Arteries, was released in September 2021 via Nuclear Blast Records. Drummer Daniel Wilding did session work in Sweden at Studio Grundal with David Castillo while guitars were recorded at the Stallion House or the Station House, sorry, Station House, with James Atkinson in Leeds, England, eventually needing some form of residential location to finalize vocals, bass, and other guitar work. The band headed back to Studio Grundal 
in Sweden to continue work in a very relaxed atmosphere with Castillo. So that's Carcass. Um, I didn't realize their newest album came out almost three years ago. Well, over three years ago. But yeah, the headline was we keep getting, we're constantly written off. And I think that's accurate because they're, they're a band that like no one, I don't even think about Carcass that much. And when I do, I'm like, fuck yeah, Carcass rules. <laughs> Are they a three piece? I don't think so. I think they're four. I think they have two guitar players. Yeah. yeah. But the singer, uh, Jeff Walker, like plays and sings. So, okay. 